everybody welcome back to the channel i'm yanka your christian fitness trainer and this um, video is going to be a little bit different but do me a favor like subscribe comment and share and i greatly appreciate it so in this video i'm going to be talking about um giving a testimony because i think that's important i remember there was a time when i went through youtube looking for different testimonies on things that i was trusting god for so um it, with this testimony um, you'll see towards the end um, some of the stuff, but um, I was uh, washing dishes one night and I was standing at the uh, uh, sink and I'm like, you know, it was late at night. It was like 12 or somewhere now I'm like doing dishes, cleaning up and all that stuff. And I just said, Father, you know, I, it's late. And I said, I look to you to the hills from where my help comes. And so about, you know, three days later, my husband came home and he had hired a chef. And um, the way this works out, it was just how the father put it together. Because in my heart, like where I live, there's no, um, the rest, of, there aren't no, not many um, different ethnic restaurants. So, you know, I, I like Caribbean food a lot. I grew up eating it and I really like it, but there was like none in our area whatsoever. So, um, I, like if I go to Miami where I'm originally from I can get food there or if I go to New York City I can get food there or maybe down in Albany one of the other towns of uh, cities I can go to but never in, in my own city so Chef Nikki is uh, she's from the Caribbean and she was able to make all the foods that I was missing so only God could do that like in this area where there's absolutely no Caribbean food or restaurants and not much um, diversity the father brought to me someone who could do the exact thing that was in my heart how good is he so um, here we are um, you'll see chef Nikki and uh, you know she she's talking about um, celiac and some other stuff because she has a really good understanding and even in her own story um, she will talk about like um, how she she's able to make and cater to people with celiac or um, a vegan vegetarian pescatarian and she just prepares meals like she's a she has a catering um, business but she also she's my family's personal chef and you'll see I even included some of the dishes that she's made so you can um, see those things but I just thank God for her so without further ado here's chef Nikki Tell us about the celiac. So celiac um, is a disease where you are literally allergic to flour and gluten and it eats away at your intest small intestines and the microflates, I believe, mm -hmm. may have that wrong, but um, it eats, kills them off and then you're not able to process or um, digest the flour or the wheat component of whatever you're eating. So um, doing that, uh, I was diagnosed with celiac about 10 years ago and I, having a culinary background allowed me to take recipes that I've used for years um, or even new recipes that I wanted to try and accommodate that um, disease. Taking out the flour and um, substituting what you, you can and will process. Um, and having a culinary background did make that a lot easier than I believe most people have. Because one, uh, they, they wouldn't really know like what flowers to use or um, even know where to begin really. So having that background allowed me to do that. And then once I was able to master the recipes and um, become successful at um, creating recipes, then I started offering that to pretty much anyone I knew that was diagnosed or um, had that component to it. So most uh, chefs, they're you cook like you can do a variety like i said you can compare it to the gluten-free people you can compare it to the vegans the vegetarians and all that and so are chefs trained to do that or is that something like you do that's kind of different or like tell me something about that so um chefs are all they're trained across the board um as far as ingredients um what they are where they're from and how to use them um as far as the different the different subcategories that most chefs would go into mm -hmm. so personally I'm an overachiever so I did fine dining and um, a pastry chef 
So I combined both aspects of the culinary world and got my degree. The smaller or minor subcategories as far as vegan, pescatarian, you might specialize in one area over the other. For me, uh, I have a lot of allergies as far as food allergies and environmental allergies. So I was introduced to the gluten-free, dairy-free, pescatarian because my dietary needs forced me in that direction. So I'm lactose, had to figure out how to, everyone loves whipped cream, how to get whipped cream without the dairy or mac and cheese without the dairy. Um, then you add the celiac, had to figure out how to eat the comfort food that you know and love without poisoning yourself. Yeah. Um, fish, I grew up in the Caribbean, so that's what we're known for. We love fish and yeah, culinary just re, um, fine-tuned my skills and knowledge and yeah so just depends on the chef and what department they want to go into and I don't necessarily have a sweet tooth but I love the creativity that pastry brings to the table so I love creating pastries and desserts and sweets well I'm glad because I like <laughs> I, I got the sweet tooth so we're a good team. <laughs>